Welcome to how to extend the role explorer. Hey, I'm Eric and um, in Business Central, we are kind of, we lost because we had one, uh, but we lost the menu. Uh, and I'm a true believer that I, I, did, I don't really miss the menu because I do everything all Q, I search and then we're off to the races. But sometimes it's nice to be able to, you know, if you don't know what to search for, you can't find it. So that, that's the first problem. So in some cases, a user would need a, a, a overview, a, a menu. So for that, Microsoft introduced the role explorer. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Um, here's my business central. And this is the role center. So if I hit the three the hamburger menu, whatever it's called, I get into the role explorer and I kind of see everything that's in my role. And I can click explore more roles and then I can go and, and see all sorts of roles here, manufacturing and project and, you know, there's tons of stuff here. Uh, and I can, I can kind of do a filter and I can also try to, to search and we got, we found fixed assets here. Um, so that's pretty nice. But how do we get stuff into this thing? Because what what object is this and, and how is this all put together? So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Um, and for that, I created, just before I started the video, I created a, a very small app with a, there's a, a table called Fantastico uh, and a page to go with it. So how do we how do we get this thing into the menu? Into the role explorer. Um, so the first thing we could do, of course, we could we could add what is known as a usage category. And the usage category defines how this thing is found in search function. So uh, we could say we could say lists perhaps. And as soon as we have a users category, we need to add an application area. So I'll do that. Um, so this is Fantastico. And I choose a, 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 I chose a name that I know does not exist in the BC I'm running right now. So we will not get false positives when we start searching for things here. Um, and Apparently there was another app in here. Maybe we should go into extension management and kill old apps. Always good to kill old apps when they start showing up in unexpected places. Uh, I don't even know which one it is. So I'll just get rid of cloud to disk right now. I don't think that's probably not it. Um, this is the one we just put, okay, but don't care about that. So if I go to the search here and I search for Fantastico, I find my, and I can see that this is marked as list. So that's when you search for something like customer, uh, you see that there are different, there's a list and there's reports. And, and, and so you can kind of, it's, it's getting grouped based on what usage category you put on here. Um, but let me go back to my my role. So this is my center. Maybe I want to go here and I will say find if I can and type Fantastico zero results. So whatever I created is only added to the search function. It's not added to the role. Um, so in order to do that, we need to actually create something so we, we we can we can go about this in in different ways and we can try all of them um so we could try to create a new file here uh, let's create a um a role center extension so let's create a page extension um 
And what do we want to extend? Well, let's just extend the one we have. So which one do we have here? I open the Pace Inspector, Alt Control F1, and see this is 9022 that I'm currently on. So I can, um, I can actually do something like this. That's kind of cheating. Uh, or I could remember what name this was. This is the business manager role center. So I will business manager role center. Uh, but the other one is a, is a, is a little trick. And, and now we could go to actions. So, okay, let's get our function onto the role center. Um, so we could, we'll add first because this is the most important thing and add first where, well, so let's take a look again and see in this case, we have finance, cash management, cash management, sales, purchasing, Shopify up in the top one. We have customers, windows here. We got, I don't think we have, we got other menu items per se. And if we look at the role center. We can see that we got home, purchasing, finance, Shopify, cash management, and sales. So what are these? Well, what is home? Let's try to figure out what home is. Well, home is a strange thing because you can see here, that if I say at first in, well, cash management, I think we can figure out that that's cash management and there's probably others that we can recognize from that. But none of these says home. Right, there's home is not here. Um, and there's nothing with role. So the weird trick is that there's one called embedding, which I don't know if it ever made sense, uh, even in, 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 uh, in the old Windows client uh, was embedding, uh, but that's the one. So now we can try to add our action here. Say um, caption equal fantastico application area all uh, run object equal page fantas fantastical list. And I think that's it. So let's try to deploy it. And we just ignore the whatever. Oh, that's ourself. Somebody should yell at the screen and say, this is yeah, my own app. Wow. So, okay. So now you see that this thing is home. So whenever that's here, that is the home section. Uh, and, and we got our not very well working page why didn't that page work what did we do wrong application error equal n okay that doesn't really matter but now it's fixed anyway so it's here so what happens when we go to the role explorer we got fantastico here okay so but what is what is I think we could probably just let's do one thing here really quick and then we're going to figure out what's actually going on. So what if I say cash management? I deploy this again. So now we'll add first in cash management. Uh, and we got it up here. So that's pretty good. And we got it over here. But what is cash management? Well, there's one way that we can figure that out is if we go to this one, hit F12, and then let's search for cash management. So we can see that that is a group with a caption. So if we go back to our role center, and then uh, maybe we should actually, let's see if we can, let's do this again, a group in what? I, I was probably, so this is a group, but a group, where is this group? So area sections. 
in this case. So what is sections? Well, let's try to... So how about we go and say at first, wow, at first in sections. And now it says that a section can only contain a group as a warning. So let's fantast group. We will add some curly brackets to this and add a caption. Fantastico as a group. I think this is pretty good. Let's see how this goes. Go back to, oh, we can already see it up here. So it's sitting up here now as a section with our thing. And if we go to the role explorer, now we have our own section here. So if I say explore more options, um, let's see what happens if we search for fantas. Well, we don't, we don't find it. So why don't we find it? Well, if we look at this uh, company hub, manufacturing sales and marketing, project system admin, warehouse, none of these are small business. So what is happening now is that not all roles are getting promoted to the role explorer. So let's try to take a look at how that works. So the first thing we need to, so here, here is the, the, you might get confused. Uh, so I don't know, I don't know how this worked inside Microsoft, but, but here, here is my theory that on one side of the room, we had a group of people who rooted for, we call it a profile. So we have different profiles who can log into the system. On the other side of the room, we had a equally large group of people, feisty, I think also, uh, and also the first group is probably a bit feisty. And they said, no, we got roles. You log in as a role. Um, and throughout the releases of NAV and Business Central, sometimes some is called, it's called a role and something, sometimes it's called a profile. And it's a complete clash from, from my perspective. Uh, I, uh, I, I pity the, the manager who needs to, to, to sort this out because it's, it's, it's weird. Anyway, so, so we, if we look at the menu item here, it says profiles, parentheses, roles. Maybe next, ver next version it'll say roles and, and then profiles in, uh, here. But, but anyway, it's the same thing. So a profile has a role center connected to it. Um, and if you look at the profiles here and you go to my settings where you can select a role what you look up into available roles and we can zoom in on this guy those are profiles uh, so it's it's uh, anyway so role and profile it's the same um, for all purposes here um, but there are it's not the same because it's actually if we go to let's let's go into AL and then let's create one. So we will um, create a new file. We'll call this for role profile AL. Uh, so what we need to do here is that we need to create a profile uh, object. And we could call this for YouTube. That's probably pretty good. Let's see if I'm able to do that. Can't remember if this actually needs number or not. Let's see what, nothing. YouTube. Um, wow, stop doing that. So a profile. Uh, needs a caption and needs a role center. So we could call this caption for YouTube. 
go. That's how you spell YouTube. And we need it needs a role center. So what is the role center object that we're going to use? Well, I guess let's quickly create a uh, page here. Um, Uh, page type equal role center and um, we'll go, just go straight to actions and area uh, let's do Im embedded embedding sorry and let's we can go over here and then just copy this guy Now we got a nice looking role center here. And I'm, I'm breaking all the rules, creating multiple objects in the same file. Um, you can do that. It's not a law that it has to be in two separate files. Um, works fine this way. But now I can select my role center on my profile. Um, and if I deploy this, we can do that. I, if I deploy this, it's kind of sparse, but if I go to Alt T and look at roles now, I have a YouTube role. So that's pretty good. If I select that one, it's going to be uh, pretty sparse here, right? Fantastico, and that's it. Welcome to Business Central. Um, showing something that is business central and showing something that I don't think is business central. That's kind of fun. Um, but if I go in here, we can see that this is my and this is thing, but it's not here. It's still not here. So it's not promoted. So in order for us to do that, we need to go back and in the profile, we simply need to tell that this is actually promoted. We should also say that it's enabled. I think that's done by default, but it's always a good, I think, a good idea to show your intent here that this should be enabled by default. Uh, so if I deploy this again, go to the home page, that looks the same. I go to this guy, that looks the same. I go to explore more roles. And now we can see right up here that now this is part of uh, um, and it says this very empty and that's okay um, but now it's part of the role explorer so now I could I could go back here and start filling out all the stuff that I need to show up connected to, the, to this role um, and it will show up here it will look nice on this guy and uh, of course this one will work so that is how you extend the role explorer um, if you have any questions comments below if you're not subscribed there's a way to subscribe right there I think and uh, when you're done with that I suggest go watch this video because that's a good one. See you there. Bye.